<laughs> Bro! All right, you guys. Uh, yeah, welcome to the stream today. We're gonna be ranking all the Iron Maiden songs today. It's gonna be good. We're gonna have a nice time. We got a lot to do, so let's get to it. We're gonna be going from triple S to F. You know, Iron Maiden has a lot of S tier songs, so you gotta rank those S tier songs as well. Let's get into it. All right, so the first song, we're going by alphabetical order, by the way, is 2 a.m. All right, so yeah, 2 a.m. off the X Factor. We were just talking a little bit earlier about how the X Factor is actually pretty good. You know, I, you know, I, I agree. Like, definitely not their worst material. Maybe a little bit too long. I think it sort of suffers a lot from slow intro syndrome, where all the intros are kind of pretty slow. You know what I mean? Anyways, yeah, I think 2am is pretty good. I'm gonna put it in B tier. I don't really think it's uh, better than that. Two minutes to midnight is the next one here. Now, obviously, this is an S tier song, right? Power Slave. Do I think it's worthy of a double S though? Yeah, it's at least a double S song for me. What do you guys think? At least a double S. Single S, single S. You guys think it's a single S? Yeah, I, the riff is kind of generic. Dude, the pre-chorus of that song makes it though. The pre-chorus is sick. I'm gonna put it in double S and then maybe I'll move it around later. We'll, 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 we'll see where the other songs start to land. We'll see as I just spit all over my <laughs> keyboard. So now we got 22 Acacia Avenue. Honestly, eh, not my favorite, to be honest. I, but I think it's not like their worst for sure. I don't know. I'm gonna put it Put it in C tier. Double S, bro? Oh my god. Oh, you must have been talking about, uh... You gotta be talking about, uh... <laughs> two minutes of midnight. I'm putting in C. A, at least. High B. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll switch you guys in the middle. We'll, we'll do B. We'll do B. We'll do B. All right, Ace is high. Come on, you guys already know. You guys already know, bro. You guys already know. That's a triple S. That's a triple S for sure. 100%. Yeah, S, double S, triple S. Yep. Yep, yep. But yeah, sorry, uh, Ace is high, Triple S for sure. Not only does the song actually kind of sound like what I assume a dogfight would sound like, about the Battle of Britain. You know what could be more English than singing about the Battle of Britain, you know what I mean? So yeah, Triple S easily. Next song, Afraid to Shoot Strangers Off of Fear of the Dark. I is this gonna be unpopular? I don't know, I've seen, seen different uh, things about this here. But bro, I'm kinda, I, I kinda love Afraid to Shoot Strangers. I'm gonna put in Double, triple S. That's my favorite song off uh, Fear the Dark. When I uh, when I saw them live like 10 years ago, they played it. It was sick. Well, I'm going to take your guys' into consideration. I'm going to lower it down to a double S. But I really like Afraid to Shoot Strangers. All right, next one. Age of Innocence off of Dance of Death. You know, probably one of the more, probably one of the more mid tracks off a pretty amazing album, to be honest. What do you guys think? Age of Innocence. Eh, eh, you know what, bro? It, they, this might be a B. Dude, D? Damn, not for me song. All right, I can't. All right, I'm gonna. We're gonna. We're just gonna pull it up really quick. I can only play like a real short amount of it. Otherwise, I'm gonna get copyright ganked on the stream here. But yeah, oh yeah, the da 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 da. Yeah, and pretty just mid song. Honestly, I'm gonna put it in C. All right, K, okay, moving on. We got a lot to do, so I'm gonna keep keep them quick. Alexander the Great off a of peace of mind. Like Buddy said, he was listening to earlier today. Honestly, I love Alexander the Great. Love the chorus. <laughs> Sorry, not off peace Look of mind. Dude, what am I saying, dude? Off somewhere in time. Sorry, excuse me. Jeez. Yeah, I, I, I love Alexander. The the great i love the drumming i love you know the topic uh i am i am part greek you can't really tell though but so it you know it does kind of speak to me even though you know there's a lot of uh debate about it i get it right but yeah what do you, what do you guys think what, what do you guys think of alexander the great one of one of iron maiden's best prog songs to me alexander the great i'm gonna put it in s tier i like it all right okay moving on another life honestly uh Kind of a mid forgettable song for me, to be honest. I'm gonna put that in C tier. Okay, Back in the Village, off of Power Slave. Kind of a cool song. The highs on Power Slave are just so high, and then you kind of have like the mid tracks in the middle. You know what I mean? Like it sort of starts off, have Aces High, Two Minutes to Midnight, and then you kind of get like a little like lull in the middle, and then it finishes off with, you know, Power Slave and Rhyme with Ancient Mariner. So yeah, I don't know, like it's okay, uh, you know. I'm gonna put in B tier. All right, be quick or be dead off of Fear of the Dark. I feel like this is a pretty solid song. Uh, maybe one of Bruce's most vocally aggressive songs. You know, he's doing a lot of like, ah! like, like that type of sh So yeah, I, you know, I, I, no, dude, I agree. I think, I think this is an A tier song for sure. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Also, I'm extremely sorry about that noise I just made. <laughs> All right, we're blood brothers. 
Yes. Yo, what's Hi, up, bro? Welcome to, to the Chili's. stream. Remember to like the stream, boys. Remember to like it. Really helps me out. Okay, Blood Brothers off of <laughs> Brave New World. Pretty good. One of my favorite songs off Brave New World. Brave New World's also just an amazing album, really. <laughs> <laughs> the most Bruce impersonations. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah, dude. I, yeah, I agree. I agree with you guys. I think it's a solid, solid S tier track. Really good song. Really good song. Really enjoyable. All right. The first, oh, no, second Blaze song. We already did 2 a.m. Blood on the world's hands. What do you guys think, man? Some of the Blaze tracks are good. This one, uh, I don't know. Yeah, Bla uh, Blaze would have sounded good on uh, Blood Brothers. You can tell because it's like a little bit lower in register too. So that maybe that would have been uh, written or blaze written to be a blaze song, but then you know they got put on to when Bruce came back. He co off. Oh, well, there you go. That makes sense. Okay, yeah. Blood on the world's hands. I'm gonna put in C. Brave New World, the title track. I'm really. Why am I having a hard time like remembering what Brave New World is like? Oh, dude. A brave new world in a brave new. Yeah, I just need a little refresher. There's a lot of songs. Come on, it's got to come me some slack. Brave New World. Yeah, I love that intro. Yeah, I, I agree. Great track. Double S. Very, very majestic song. It's a very majestic song. I'll put it like that. All right. First song off A Matter of Life and Death. Brighter Than A Thousand Suns. What do you guys think? A tier? Yeah, pretty solid song. I feel like, to me, a lot of the songs on A Matter of Life and Death just feel... I don't know, I'm not gonna say, like, incomplete, but I feel like they just needed something extra. Like a grandiose kind of end chorus, you know what I mean? Like, it just like you just kind of feel like they're sort of missing something. But, yeah, but that was one of the one of the better songs of the album for me, so I can put that there. Okay, A tier for Brighter Than a Thousand Suns. Okay! <laughs> Bring your daughter to the slaughter. Now, I'm gonna let you guys say your piece here about the song, and then I'll tell you what I think. This is one of my least favorite Iron Maiden songs, easily. I just think this, like, song sucks, bro. <laughs> like, I don't... I don't need to hear this song. You you really enjoy the song. You know, I can see why you would enjoy it, but for me... Bring your daughter, bring your daughter to the slaughter! I don't know. It's my list. And something has to go in F. Which, speaking of, <laughs> another song I don't really like all that much, Can I Play With Madness. Like, it, it's catchy, but in, like, Baby Shark catchy, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. <laughs> Dude, yeah, Can I Play With Madness. What, that's one of my first videos I made on this channel was like, why would Iron Maiden do this? So, Seventh Son of a Seventh Son has eight songs. Why would you put Can I Play With Madness? which sounds like completely different from the rest of the album on it. Like, I get it, you need like a radio single. But if you take away Can I Play With Madness, the album has seven songs on Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. Like, I get it, plays into the story, blah, 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 blah. To be honest to me, I'm putting it in D. I almost always skip the song when it comes off. So that, that tells me where it is. Moving on. Caught Somewhere in Time. Caught Somewhere in Time. Yeah, a great track. I'm gonna go S. I'm gonna go S. Dare say triple S? Triple S, double S? I'm a sucker for open. <laughs> you know what? Double S. I'm bumping it up. Double S. You guys convinced me. You're right. Okay. Chains of Misery off Fear the Dark. Not that bad. Not that great. You know, this is one of the Iron Maiden songs that doesn't really sound like an Iron Maiden song, which is interesting too. She lies to you. She won't let her be. She's got cha chains of misery. I think it's a I think this is a solid kind of B tier song. D? D? Okay, how about I meet you guys in the middle? C. Alright. Charlotte the Harlot. Let me okay, let me Oh my god, dude. Do, okay, okay. Oh my dude, what is sorry. <laughs> yeah, great track. Shut the heart down my own name. I'm gonna put this in double S. I think it's a double S song for sure. Really good track. Childhood's End Off Fear of the Dark. It's like I kinda want to like this album, you know what I mean? Like at least they did something different there. At least they were doing something different with the I think it's not bad. I'm gonna put this in B. I like that they did something a little bit different there. Alright, Children of the Damned. Come on, you guys, you guys know where this is going. You guys know. Come on, come on. Don't even need to say it, bro. Don't even need to say it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Triple S boys. Triple. Triple 
Yes. 100%. Who dis who dares disagree? All right, just some dude. What do you what do you know, bro? Just just us? No, I, I, I can see it. I feel like a lot of the songs on Number of the Beast can just get way overplayed. Luckily, Children of the Damned, you don't hear that often, so it doesn't have the sort of... I, I kind of call it like the ACDC effect, you know what I mean? Like, Back in Black is a great song. I don't ever need to hear it again. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like kind of the same way with uh, Run to the Hills and Number of the Beast as well. Like they just, like I've just heard them so many times. But luckily, Children of the Damned, that hasn't happened to me. Coming home, first song off The Final Frontier. No wait, is it, is it, no, hold on. Or is that off? No, is that's a book of souls, isn't it? Oh man, I haven't listened to the the newer albums nearly as much as I have the old ones. Yeah, I know it is off uh, the final frontier. Yeah, honestly, low key boys, low key. S. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. Kind of cool. Bruce talking about flying the big old jet plane. I'm sticking with S. Well, uh, maybe we'll rearrange this later. We'll see what other songs go where. You know, cause yeah, yeah. Anyways. Como estas amigos? Doesn't this just mean, how's it going, my friends, or something like that in Spanish, I think? I feel like all the Blaze, lot, lot, lots of the Blaze songs just sounds really, really sound uh, the same to me. But yeah, I'd agree. One of the highlights of Virtual 9, Virtual 11. Yeah, Virtual 11. One of the highlights, pretty good, pretty good. I'm going to put in B, though. I don't think it deserves to be any higher than B. Darkest Hour, Off Senjutsu. Yeah, pretty good track, honestly. I, I, I didn't think it was too bad. I'm going to put in B. Days of future past dude i have no idea what uh, album this is even off i just assume like virtual 11 that's how you know it's bad like the worst sin a song can make is to be forgettable if the song is bad at least you remember how bad it is but if it's forgettable it's just even worse do you know what i mean oh yeah right right this right yeah 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 but i thought this was actually pretty good sinjutsu is like structured a little bit weird to me you kind of have a whole bunch of like shorter songs and then they just like, bam. Okay, here's three 10 minute long plus songs at the end after you're already kind of tired of the album. But yeah, Days of Future Past, it was a, you know, a little bit of a shorter song, which you got to appreciate, but I don't know. Dude, the newer albums just kind of don't do it for me. Death and Glory. Where are we, where are we thinking Death and Glory here, boys? Where are we thinking? Where are we thinking? Yeah, kind of like a rare kind of almost like bluesy track from Iron Maiden. With some interesting lyrics, for sure. I'm going to put this in C. No, I, it, dude, it's better than Age of Innocence. It's better than Age of Innocence. Okay, Death of the Celts. Yeah, one of the better, uh, longer Iron Maiden tracks, honestly. I thought this one uh, was really good. It actually really surprised me. Great riffs, a good singing, very interesting topic. You know, the Celtic, um, not going to say the word, but uh, starts with a G. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but that was done is uh, pretty crazy and rarely talked about in history. I think it was Caesar, like, enslaved over a million Celts. Not only that, but killed over a million Celts. Like, maybe even more during the Celtic Wars where he took over Gaul. Which album? Dude, this is off of, uh, Senjutsu. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I thought it was actually pretty good. I'm gonna put this in A tier. Now we got Deja Vu. Feel like I've been here before. Feel like I've been here before. Uh, absolute banger track. I love it. Double S. Yeah, I agree with that for sure. Actually, it's funny. Back in the day when, you know, you had iPods and you had to obtain the albums by more unconventional means, let's just say. For some reason, Deja Vu wasn't included on Somewhere in Time for me. So for like five years, I listened to all of Somewhere in Time and I just, it just didn't have Deja Vu. So <laughs> then when I finally heard, oh, it has an extra song, I was like, dude, the song slaps. So good. I'm going to go double S. Die with your boots on. If you're going to die, if you're going to die, die with your boots on if you're going to try. Honestly, the song, this song is just like, okay to me. Dude, all you guys are saying S, am I just wrong here, bro? I can, I can, fair honesty, I can be totally wrong, you guys. I'm going to put in A, because I was initially thinking lower, but you guys have convinced me different. Yeah, no, A, A, A for sure. Different world, honestly, pretty mid song, not going to lie. I'm going to put it in C tier. Don't look to the eyes of a stranger, another Blaze song. Don't look. To the eyes of a strip. Dude, why do I feel like they're all Blaze songs have like the same vocal melody? Is, is that just me? Again, like my my real problem, not with Blaze is singing, the production on those albums is very boring and super bass focused. It, it, truly, they almost sound like Steve Harris solo albums, really, to be honest with you guys. Uh, yeah, we're gonna put this in D. All right, okay, next song. We got Dream of Mirrors. Great track. One of my favorites off Brave New World for sure. You know, he... he Bruce only dreams in black and white. Like, what can he say? <laughs> yeah. 
Cool song. Honestly, S tier for me. I, I love Dream of Mirrors. Why'd you used to hate Dream of Mirrors, bro? Tell me. B, double S. Yeah, this one, Dream of Mirrors seems to be a very, uh, very polarizing song. Drifter. Ah, yeah, man. I just don't like these, like, kind of more, like, rock and roll songs from Iron Maiden. It's not that good for me. I'm gonna put this in D. No, you know what? I'm gonna, I gotta spread this out. F. Okay, El Dorado, Mountain of Gold, off the Final Frontier. Yeah, pretty good track. Not my, definitely not my favorite off uh, the Final Frontier, but I think it was, I thought it was okay. I'm gonna put it in B. Empire of the Clouds, off of the Book of Souls. If I remember correctly, I think this one has some pretty good riffs. I think it's their longest song, easily, right? Easily. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I remember that. I love the instrumentation on this song. I really think Iron Maiden should add more symphonic elements to their tracks, more piano. It just really adds some very nice diversity to their sound that, you know, has been kind of, I don't want to say ran into the ground, but definitely explored to its fullest extent. Let's just say that. And the added instrumentation works really well. And yeah, you know, even when I was listening to it, I didn't even really realize that it, you know, when I first listened to the album, I think it was in the gym when it just came out. I didn't even realize that the end song was like 18 minutes. I thought it was great. Yeah, good. I'm gonna put this in uh, S. I think it's a great, great song. Are you main should pull a Blind Guardian and make a Night at the Opera album? I agree, bro, but Night of the Opera isn't my favorite Blind Guardian album, but I do agree. They should explore that sound a little bit more. It's good. Face in the Sand. This is another, uh, another song that actually, you know, has some symphonic elements too. Funny enough. Funny enough that it comes through there. And we were actually discussing earlier too, that this is one of the Iron Maiden songs that sounds a lot different from some of the other ones because of the drumming. You know, normally uh, we were talking before I started doing the, the list here that Iron Maiden songs or that it was sort of Nico McBain's drumming that was also sort of holding the band back. But on this song, you know, he has the constant kick pedal going most of the time. So it really does add a different dynamic to the song and really sort of pushes it forward and keeps it moving very well. Like, I, I love Space in the Sam. I don't think it's the best off Dance of Death. We still have yet to get to those songs. Yeah, we'll get to there. Actually, and looking at this here, I must have uh, deleted the word Dance of Death because I thought it was the album title. So we're going to rate Dance of Death right now so I don't forget. Ah, uh, yeah, Dance of Death. Great track. I think this is actually a double S song. Uh, dude, dude, honestly, might be a triple S, honestly. Should Iron Maiden definitely embrace its progressive side? They already have, man, for sure. Dude, honestly, I love Dance of Death. One of my favorite songs. I'll put in triple S. That's my list. Fate's Warning off of oh, no prayer for the dying i think this is actually a pretty underrated iron maiden album honestly yeah i honestly dude i think this is a really great track be it the devil or be it him but dude it's dude it's not on the same level as alexander the greater dream of the mirrors though so i'm gonna put it in a tier fear is the key off fear of the dark yeah mid forgettable song we're going d i listened to a lot of fear of the dark way back in the day and then speaking of fear of the dark uh yeah great great track Fear of the dog. Like everybody knows this, right? Iconic opening guitar. Yeah, one of the, one of their best songs for sure. Is it triple S though? What do you guys think? Triple S? Triple S? I'm gonna let you guys decide at triple S or double S for Fear of the Dark. Studio S live triple S? That's a good point. That's a good point. It's triple S. Or we're going triple S. You guys have decided. Flash of the Blade off a of power slave. You'll die as you lived in a flash of the blade. Pretty good track. I think it's an A tier song. I think A is fair. Double S. So you're you're telling me that Flash of the Blade is better than Alexander the Great? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I'm putting in an A tier. I gotta keep moving here. We're we're, we're lollygagging. Okay, Flight of Icarus. Honestly, low key, one of my favorite songs. Uh, of all of Iron Maidens. One of the most unique sounding for sure, especially with the sort of tom grooves that go on for most of the song. So I think this is a double S song. And I'm glad you agree, Michael. Uh, for the greater good of God off of A Matter of Life and Death. Pretty good song. Not my favorite off A Matter of Life and Death. I do really like the cover art for the song though. For the greater good of God. Yeah, yeah I, think a, I think A is fair for that song. <laughs> I have to go listen to <laughs> Dream Ears again. High A, low S. Yeah, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Fortunes of War. I always get this song mixed up with another song. W one of the one of the ones I don't really like. It's just kind of a slow plotting song. It's okay. Uh, I like some of the other ones better. I'm going to put this in C tier. Fortunes of War. The predecessor to Angel and the Gambler. Yeah, you can kind of see what was coming, coming to be, you know what I mean? From Here to Eternity, off of Fear of the Dark. The kind of Iron Maiden's tribute to Harley Davidson's, I guess. 
<laughs> I thought it was okay. We're gonna go see. We're gonna go see. All right, future real. Bro, low key, bro, low key. This is ass. This is ass. Come on, this is ass. All right, gangland. Just listen to this on the way home, actually. <sighs> I'm gonna go B. Not my favorite. Yeah, glad you agree. Glad you agree. Gates of tomorrow. Yeah, one of the one of the one of the rare misses on Dance of Death for me. We're gonna go see Genghis Khan. What do we think of? Was this the first Iron Maiden instrumental? Dude, yeah, great riffs, great riffs. Dude, drumming is really good on this on the song. Really, really good. Uh, yeah, I think this is a this is this is at least an A. I might move this later. Oh, bro, you already know how be that name's going in S or triple S. Come on. Transylvania. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Transylvania. Yep, yep, yep. Ghost of the Navigator. <laughs> dude, bro, I sent this to a girl, bro, with grade eight. Dude, whoa, bro, bro. I'm like, this song makes me think of you. Bro, dude, what was I thinking, bro? Despite that cringe, yeah, it's a great song. Take my heart and let it go. I don't think it's an S. Eight. I don't think it's an S to your song. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how would be that name? Bro, you guys already know. You guys already know. Yeah, it's triple S. It's triple S. Sender Hoax in you. <laughs> Sender Charlotte the Harlot, bro. <laughs> hey, you know what, bro? If you can't cringe it yourself, you'll never learn from your own mistakes. That's what cringe is. Cringe is your brain and body telling you to and learn from your dumbass decisions. <laughs> Okay, Heaven Can Wait. One of my least favorite songs of Somewhere in Time. I, I think it's just, it's, it's just like an okay song. It, it's there. Hell on Earth. This was off of Senjutsu, I think. Yeah, maybe. I feel like uh, Death of the Celts is the like the best track on here, really. So I'm going to put this in B tier. Quadruple S, bro. Dude, are we listening to the same song? Okay. I'll, I'll split the difference with you. We'll put it in A. How about that? How about that? All right, holy smoke. Yeah, this song is kind of ass, bro. Hooks in you, dude. This song is kind of ass too. <laughs> Put it deep to yourself. Ides of March. Yo, rest in peace to my boy Caesar, bro. Dude, how could they? Video is triple S. I've never seen the the video. <laughs> dude, look at the outfits, bro. Hey, Steve, we're shooting a music video today. <laughs> okay, all right, let me let me wear my best. Uh... <laughs> Dude, it's the aspect ratios. Fucking this up. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Dude, we couldn't have skipped like three. <laughs> Dude, only someone. Who's like mind is still stuck in like 1983 would think this is like sick. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Bro. Oh my god, dude. These this is hilarious. Okay. I, <laughs> just for that, bro, I'm pumping it up. Oh my god, yeah. Okay. Okay, we're okay, we're getting back to it, dude. Okay, Ides of March, yeah. One of the better Iron Maiden uh, instrumentals, good opener. Yeah. We're gonna go, uh, no, we're gonna go A tier. We're gonna go A tier. Okay, if Eternity should fail. Yeah, one of the better songs. I really liked uh, the riffs on this album. The chorus is really good. I'm gonna put this in A tier. I, I really liked this song, actually. It was good. Bro, I swear to God, if, we, if I move again and we get another hilarious thing, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> Dude, who the f is this guy? This better be, like, part of the story, because I've never f seen <laughs> Dude, dude, what in God's name is going on? <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> Obviously, they're having a laugh, right? They're having a laugh at this. Oh man, holy. Dude, honestly, Bruce Dickinson kind of a sick fit, like the pink shirt, the bangs, bro. You gotta ref respect it. You gotta respect it. Okay, enough of that, dude. Thanks for telling me about that. That's that's actually hilarious. <laughs> Innocent exile. Uh, if you're wondering why all these words are kind of spelled wrong, it's because I, for my list, I just use the list and I just control F and go rid of the words no and yes. Innocent exile. Ah, I think it's um. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm torn between B or C for Innocent Exile. What do you, what are you guys thinking? Okay, I'll let you guys decide while I just gotta take uh, a leak and I'm gonna grab another Diet Coke. I'll be right back.
Uh, all right, we're back. We're back. I got a diet iced tea this time. Cheers. Actually, okay, let's see here. C, C, B, or A, A, B. We'll put it in B. I think we'll split the difference. All right. Uh, second song off Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. The first one we did was Can I Play With Madness? Way down on D. Bro, low key, I love Infinite Dreams. I'll just warn you guys right now, I'm going to put in like all these songs in, in like double S or S. But yeah, I think I think double S is, is, is totally fair. Really good track. Really, really good track. All right. Invade! Ban -an 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 -an. Kind of like, I don't know. Why would you not start this album off with Number of the Beast? Why start it with Invaders? Like, number, you know, whatever. And whatever. Uh, you know, it's okay. For me, it's a B tier song. Iron Maiden. You know, I know it's their namesake song, but dude, it's just, it's not my favorite. It's just not my favorite Iron Maiden song, bro. Like, I kind of have to respect it, you know what I mean? But I'm going to kind of reluctantly put it in A tier here. Okay, Isle of Avalon. This was off of Final Frontier, right? Oh, let's go. Yeah. Remember I listened to this one? I wasn't that impressed. Kind of just mid, honestly. And if you're wondering, all the songs that start with the are going to be in the T category, just by the way this was sorted here. Just so you guys know, if you're wondering where, where your favorite song is. Okay. The Rare Iron Maiden Acoustic, Journeyman. Dude, I think this is a... I think this is an S tier song. I could be convinced that this is a double S song, though. What do you guys think? I could be convinced. Let's go here. Have I ranked Fan of the Opera triple S? Uh, no, we're going by uh, alphabetical order, bro. Right now, you gotta tell me what you think Journeyman. Do you think Journeyman is S or double S? I'm letting you guys pick this one. S or double S. Dude, just some dude. Exactly, bro. That is a much better track list. I wonder why. They there must have been some like record label shenanigans that they put invaders there. S, triple S. Oh, dude, I'm not waiting. I'm going double S. Okay, next song we have Judas Be My Guide off of Fear the Dark. Judas, my guide, whispers in the night. Dude, I actually, th dude, I kind of, I really like this song actually. It's not. Not the best. Dude, I'm loving I'm lo dude, I'm loving this uh this Judas be my guide love. I love it. Dude, yeah, definitely. One of my favorite songs off uh Fear the Dark. But I don't know, can I really ra rate it in the same place as 2 Minutes to Midnight, Infinite Dreams? I think it's just I think it's just a single S. Dude, everybody's saying trip. Okay. Nope. I'm going to listen to you guys. I'm going to listen to you guys. We're going to bump it up to double S. Killers. Killer behind you. Yeah, this is a uh, triple S triple s Espe it, it, dude even just just for paul diano's like opening screams at the beginning of the intro there that's just sick <laughs> like i just love it it's it's just really really good triple s for sure all right uh get down there <laughs> yeah uh lightning strikes twice lightning strikes twice f not not the fan look for the truth this is kind of a Kind of a low key, below par. It's like a bogey song. Lord of Lights off a of matter of life and death. Okay, this song is good. Uh, I'm gonna put this song in S. This might be my favorite song off a of matter of life and death. Did I miss Judgment of Heaven? Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, Judgment of Heaven. Let's quickly rank it. We're gonna go B tier. Cause realistically, you know, it should be like a bell curve, right? You know, S and F are here. And all the shit should be sort of coming together in the middle. Killers for You is a 7 out of 10. Not a fan of Paul's voice. Fair. What about the song killers? Yeah, no. I, I totally agree. They're, they're definitely coasting. Like I said, kind of more sounds like a Steve Harris a solo. Oh, no, I already did this one. Oops. Kind of sounds like a Steve Harris solo album. Dude, you don't have to convince me. I like Purgatory. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, bro. Thanks for coming by. Lord of the Flies. Dude, I think this is one of the better Blaze songs. I'm going to put this in A. I'm going to keep it moving here, though, because I, uh, you know, I don't want to be doing this too long. Paul is the best Maiden singer, in my opinion. Dude, come on. Come on, bro. Do you really think that, bro? Come on. Lost for words, big aura. I don't know. Again, like, this just suffers from being in between, like, two minutes to midnight, ace is high, and then at the other end, like, power slave and ride with the ancient mariner. So this, it's just kind of like mid in comparison to me. Dude, I'm going to put this in C. Let me put it in C. 
Lost in a Lost World. I think this was off of Sinjutsu. Dude, it's pretty crazy when you like kind of skip through a song like that and it sounds like 10 other songs. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, honestly, C tier. Like, if I don't remember the song at all, and I struggle to remember even when I skip through the song, it means it's pretty damn forgettable. So I'm gonna put it in C. Just, uh, again, a quick reminder, boys, if you guys, uh, if you're here, remember to like the stream. It really helps me out. I appreciate it. All right, Man on the Edge. Dude, dude, that was me when you're trying to listen through all the Iron Maiden albums. <laughs> I became the Man on the Edge. Fuck! Falling down, falling down. One of the mercifully short uh, songs on the album, which makes it actually good because most Blaze era songs have some good and catchy parts. Like I said before, though, it's just not enough substance to justify the lengths. Yeah, I'm going to put this in A. Monsegur, Dance of Death. And the gates from the walls. I think this is a B tier song. Not offensive, pretty good. All right, another Seventh Son classic. Moon, oop, what the? Moon Child. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Triple S. Triple S, boys. Seven deadly sins. Seven ways to win. Seven holy paths to hell. And your dream begins. Okay, more lies. Oh, no more lies. Yeah, that was. No more lies. Honestly, yeah, low-key, one of my more favorite songs of Brave New World, I think. Dude, Moonchild could definitely be a sports team intro, for sure. Although, how many sports teams really ever even use metal songs for anything, really, anymore? The only ones that I know of are actually uh, the Edmonton Oilers, which you guys uh, see their jerseys in my videos all the time. But they use Enter Sandman when coming onto the ice, and then I think the Dallas Stars use Pantera for their goal song. Hey, hey, hi. Cheers from the Ukraine, bro. Dude. Thanks for tuning in, man. Dude, how late is it there? It must be like, what, almost midnight? But yeah, okay, no more lies, bro. Um, Dude, I think it's a great song. I'm gonna put this in S tier. I really like No More Lies. <laughs> bro, dude, <laughs> as soon as the Ukrainian comes in, we get Mother Russia. <laughs> Hi! Uh, but yeah, I think Mother Russia is actually one of my favorite songs from No Prayer of the Dying, for sure. I almost feel like this is a holdover from Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. It kind of does the, like the prog feel to it, for sure. With the cool kind of prog intro, or the bridge there. Yeah, I like Mother Russia. <laughs> I yet tuned in past midnight just in time to rank Mother Russia. Okay, I'll let you decide, bro. Where are we going to put Mother Russia? Are we going to put it in S or A tier? Because that's that's where I'm having a tough time deciding right now. S or A for Mother Russia. What are we thinking, guys? Hmm. Okay. I think everyone's. I think everyone would agree it's an S tier song. New Frontier. This is another song that I just like. I'm struggling to put on an album. Yeah. Another dude. Dance of Death is another one that has really high highs and then just like sort of like mids all the way through. I'm gonna put this in B tier. All right. Only the good die young. All the evil seem to live forever. <sighs> Dude, double S. Double S. Yeah, double S. Double S. Double S. Out of the shadows. Dude, this came out 2021. Dude, three years ago? Dude, how, okay, how is that possible? Let's let's just dial back. We gotta dial back the speed of time here. Like it's it's just going way too quickly. Out of the shadows and into the light. But dude, if I can't remember what album it's on, even though when I go back and listen to it and like, oh yeah, that's pretty good. I have to put in B if, if I'm if it's kind of like bad forgettable. Dude, that's what I'm saying, dude. I swear to god it came out last year. But three years ago, man? Dude. Out of the silent planets. Well, you know, you do have a point there that a younger vocalist could probably sing much higher and with more intensity. But I feel like they're just not not writing for Bruce's voice anymore. Like a lot of them are just too high. He can't really sing that high with that power anymore. But yeah, Out of the Silent Planet. Excellent, excellent song. Really like it. I'm going to put this in double S. Passion Dale, dude. Come on, this is a triple S song. Triple S for sure. And not only because, you know, Pashadale is where Canadians fought in the First World War, but it's one of the most unique Iron Maiden songs in their structure and the chord progressions. Yeah, uh, amazing song. I really like Pashadale. Expect a deep dive on that song at some point in the future here. Okay, so Phantom. Obviously, this is Phantom of the opera yeah fan of the opera dude come on it 
Dude, the riffing in that is just so good. Uh, excellent, excellent song. Even like the live version with Bruce, excellent, excellent, excellent. Really, really good. All right, Power Slave. I don't know why it's capitalized in the middle, but doesn't matter. This is another Triple S song. Okay, now we got No Prayer for the Dying, the song. Again, I think this is one of the under, you know, underrated Iron Maiden albums. It's just like sort of a shame it just came after Seven Son of a Seven Son, which is obviously, in my opinion, one of the best metal albums of all time, easily. It just sort of like pales in comparison, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I love that riff. <sighs> I think this is a solid, sol solid A tier song for me. Solid A tier. Prodigal Son, that's A for sure. Prowler, and uh, in my city, there's uh, a water park like inside. I'm not sure if it used to be the world's largest water park. Uh, it, world's largest indoor water park. I don't think it is anymore. But there was a water slide called Prowler. So every time I listen to that song, I would think of that water slide. Dude, I already did an every death song tier list. Just go look on my channel. Uh, Prowler, I'm going to put in A tier. Public Anima number one. Dude, another one of these kind of like low-key kind of banging songs in this album. Refugees from the heartbreak. I'm going to put this in A tier. All right. For our boy... For our boy who kept saying pr Purgatory was triple S. I agree. <laughs> it's triple S song. <laughs> quest for fire. Join my quest for fire. He searched all through the land. Join my quest for fire. Eternity a man. Honestly, S. S tier, S tier song for me. Okay, Rainmaker off of Dance of Death. I feel like this is one of Iron Maiden's most slept on songs, man. I really like it. I think it's a double S song for sure. Didn't Metallica recently do a cover of this song? I remember, I think someone commented that on my Iron Maiden covers video. No, I put that in the video. Jesus Christ, man, dude, my memory is shot. Yeah, I think it's an S tier song though. Dude, yeah, Rainmaker, yeah, dude, for sure. You know, they put it on and that the first riff comes on, it just goes right into it, you know? Yeah, yeah really sets the stage. Yeah, great song. Revelations. Dude, come on. This is a triple S song, bro. Triple S. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got another triple S. Come on. And the realm of the ancient Marino. Yeah, great, great song. Triple S. I'm sure I don't need to say. Run silent, run deep off No Prayer for the Dying. I think this is a B tier song. I kind of like it. I wish I, I kind of want to like it more than I actually do. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Run to the hills. Now, I was explaining earlier that this song kind of suffers from ACDC syndrome for me. The fact that I've heard it so many times, I just don't ever really want to or need to listen to it again. With that being said, I think this is at least a double S song. Okay, running free. I'm running free, yeah. I'm running triple S. Yeah, triple S. Yeah, even though it's overplayed, definitely, yeah, still, still a, still a double S. All right, Satellite 15 off the Final Frontier. I don't know, it's kind of, I don't know, just kind of boring. It's just kind of boring. All right, Sea of Madness. Dude, I was in Japan one time. Uh, my wife's mother is a flight attendant, so we just went on her for like a two-day layover to Japan. And dude, and dude, dude, the Japanese are crazy. They had this song on karaoke, bro. Dude, you could just like, here in Canada, like karaoke, there's... It's all just like country and like boomer butt rock songs. But in Japan, you could be singing Iron Maiden karaoke. Dude, come on. We got we to gotta step up our karaoke game as North Americans. Sorry. <laughs> Double S for Sea of Madness. Senjutsu. Senjutsu. Does anybody know what that means in Japanese? Regardless, though, I, you know. Yeah, I'm going to put in B tier. Seventh son of a seventh son. Come on, you guys know where this is going already. You got, Do I even need to say this, bro? Come on. Seventh son of a seventh son. Seventh son of a seventh son. Triple S. That's my list. Triple S. Shadows of the Valley. Where are we thinking, boys? I'm going to put in B tier. All right, sign of the cross. The sign of the cross. One of the better Blaze songs, my opinion. Is the word even A though? I don't know. I think this has to be a B tier song. I think it's B. Shadows of the Valley, Triple S, bro. If for, if for a thousand dollars for each bad song to make them good at the very least listenable, would you take it? Oh, to fix each bad song. Uh, yeah, bro. Yeah. I'll go in there. The FL Studio like cut tool. Chop, 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 chop. Dude, I'd. Dude, I'd pay me to be their producer, bro. I'll produce. I'll be like, yo, Steve, knock it off. 
<laughs> we don't need another chorus. Come up with something else. Okay. Since you guys like Shadow of the Valley uh, so much, I'm going to bump it up. Because I think you guys, I take your opinions very seriously. So I'm going to put that there, and I'm going to put that in A. Zenjutsu is a Bushido martial arts where you use mental, spiritual energy. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, speed of light. Okay. We're back. Speed of light, bro. Dude. I kind of think this is a low-key S-tier song. Dude, Starblind, dude, honestly, dude, another kind of, kind, another kind of S tier song. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Still Life off of Peace of Mind. Dude, Triple S for Still Life. I can, I can respect that opinion, but why? T tell, tell me, tell me, convince me to put it up there. Dude, that's what I'm saying. You know, Still Life, it's, it's like, okay. Not the, not the best on, uh. Definitely not the best on peace of mind, bro. Okay, I'm gonna I'm not gonna rank it yet, but you got like t three minutes before I put it in B tier to convince me that is a triple S song. <laughs> if not, it's going in B. The verse is really good, and I like the overall song is really. Good. <laughs> well, you know, I didn't expect you to write an essay, but you know, fair enough. The verse is good, actually. You know, when I think about it. Okay, I'll, I'll put it in A tier. I'll put it in A tier. How about that? How about that? A tier. Yeah, dude, Strange World. I'm going to put it in S. It, it, is, it is a really good song, but, you know, do I really think it's, like, on the same tier as Rainmaker, Only the Good Die Young, Two Minutes to Midnight? You know? Respectfully, I'm going to put it in S. Respectfully to you, despite being one of your favorites. All right, Stranger in a Strange Land. Stranger in a Strange Land. Dude, a couple people like a triple S for Strange World. This song reminds me a lot of uh, Rainbow, like um, the Ronnie James Dio era Rainbow. Not Stargazer, of course, but uh, you know, like, uh, like Temple of the King. Okay, I'll split the difference with you guys and I'll put it in double S, okay? I put it in S, you put it in triple S, we're gonna put it in double S, okay? Okay, back to Stranger in a Strange Land, though. This is a triple S song. That was quick. <laughs> Come on, dude. It's triple S. You, you guys already know this, bro. You guys know this for sure. Stratego. It was this board game, bro. Stratego. Yeah, dude. I remember playing this when I was like 10 years old. I don't know. That song's, that song's just okay. Uh, I'm going to put in C just because I... Need some more songs in C. Okay, sun and sun and steel. I was singing this song earlier. Sunlight falling on your steel. S tier for sure. All right, tail gunner. Your tail gunner. I maybe the best song off. No prayer for the dying. I really like it. I'm gonna put it in S tier. No, dude, good catch. We did not do sanctuary. I must have uh, missed that one when I was transferring over everything over to the Excel file. Sanctuary. Yeah, sanctuary is good. I'm gonna put an A tier. Yeah, solid A. Yeah, glad you agree. Glad you agree. Tears of a Clown. This one, this song kind of feels like a Bruce solo song. Do you know what I mean? This sort of kind of like weird, you know, kind of obscure, obscure topic. But I, I, I actually really, I quite, quite like it, despite it being kind of weird. I'm gonna put an A. Yeah, you know, good point. Good point. Run to the Hills. You know, it is one of their best songs. But for me, man, I just can't put it higher than, higher than double S for me. The aftermath. After the war, what does a soldier live for? I think this is one of my favorite Bruce or Blaze songs. I actually think this is a really good song. If 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 the vocal melody gets like caught in my head afterwards, that's how I know and really sort of judge if it's a good song. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in S. I like this song a lot. I think it's a great song. All right, the Alchemist. Yeah, what a pretty good song off of uh, uh, the Final Frontier. I thought it was pretty good. I'm gonna put it in A tier. Because the next one, I, I know where the next one's going already. Just another quick reminder to please like the stream. So if you do, it'll be shown to more people and they can come join the fun for the last half. Lyrics are S, music or chess. Okay, so I think A is fine. Yeah. Uh, next song. Probably one of the most infamously bad Iron Maiden songs. Like, truly, truly kind of irredeemable. <laughs> like, there is, uh, like, truly, what were they thinking? Dude, did they actually save it 22 times, bro? Holy. Yeah, uh, what were they thinking? That's all I have to say. What were they... <laughs> triple F. <laughs> if I had a triple F category, that's where it would be. The apparition. Triple bruh. <laughs> bruh, bruh, bruh. 
There you go. <laughs> That's funny. No, wait, hold on. It should be bra 22 times. Bruh. Four, Bruh. five, Bruh. six. Bruh. <laughs> 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22. Dude, that song is ass, dude. Yeah, no wonder I can remember this song. I'm putting this in D. All right, The Assassin. I like this song. Better watch out, cause I'm the assassin. I think this is a solid, solid B tier song. The Book of Souls, the title track from The Book of Souls. Pretty good track, honestly. Honestly, I don't, I don't have many complaints. I thought it was pretty good, actually. We're going to go A tier. All right, the Clairvoyance. Ah, uh, yeah, triple S. Come on. The Klansman. S tier, for sure. Freedom! Freedom! Yeah, interesting melodies. S tier. Yeah, great, great track. Great track. Triple, double S. I could be convinced that it's a double S song. Put Future Real in S. You know what? Fuck it. Yeah. Double S. Klansman, double S. Why not? Why not? The Duelist. That's kind of a mid song off, uh, that was on Power Slave, right? Oh, I found us back for the answer. That's a hard song, hard ass song to sing. I'm going to put it in A. Double S. Dude, some people just really like Power Slave. And I get it. I totally get it. It's sort of like the same way I just really like Seven Son of a Seven Son. Okay, The Edge of Darkness. So we go from an amazing Blaze song to kind of a stinker. We're going to go with C for that one. Yeah, uh, not not many people are Rob Halford, for sure. The Educated Fool. I think this was on... Dude, was, was this on... Yeah, this song's kind of ass. I'm going to go D. The Evil That Men Do. Uh, oh, yeah. You know it. You know it. That's a triple S song for sure. Yeah, like the chorus is okay, but does that really carry a song? Like one okay chorus for the Fallen Angel. Okay, where is this one, man? Again, another one. If I can't remember exactly what album the song's on, that tells me a lot. What kind of girl they one? Yeah, dude, that's a great song, actually. Totally. That's one of the ones that, you know, I don't can't remember right off the top of my head. Because, you know, to be fair, man, I'm trying to remember 160 songs right off the top of my head to get cut me some slack. But yeah, great song. I'll, I'll, give, it a, I'll give it a double S. I'll give it a double S. Yeah, I'll give it a double S. The Fugitive off of the Fear of the Dark. I am the Fugitive. I don't know. See? That's a C. Great unknown. A great unknown. Okay, I'll tell you what. Just because you've been here and you've participated on the stream, I'm going to bump it up to A tier for you. Just for you, baby girl. The legacy off of A Matter of Life and Death. Oh, yeah, dude. This is a great song. I can put this in S tier. Yeah, the Book of Souls album cover is pretty boring. Especially because Iron Maiden usually has some really, really good and like creative, cool album art. See, so yeah, that is a little disappointing. Loneliness of the Long Distance Runner. Dude, this might be actually my favorite Iron Maiden song. I don't know. I'm going to put this like high S tier. High triple S for sure. Run on and on. Yeah, great song. If you ever do go for a run and put that on, man, dude, I, that'll keep you going for like another couple kilometers. Easy. Just put that shit on route for sure. The Longest Day. Yeah, one of the, another one of the... A Matter of Life and Death, again, like I was saying, like the songs are just like almost so good, but it feels like they just needed just something a little bit extra to make, to like bring them to like Dance of Death or Brave New World tier. I, I don't know what it is. It's just something about them. I'm going to put Longest Day in A tier. This is supposed to say the Nomad. <sighs> got filtered. Honestly, Nomad? Dude, that's a double S song for sure. Yeah, Fear the Dark. That's another good jogging song. Iron Maiden, lots of Iron Maiden songs have like a really good uh, beat for running. You know, kind of gets you right in that right sort of uh, cadence. The gate cadence, I guess you would call it maybe. I don't know. I hated Nomad until playing Legacy of the Beast. It, it's funny, like the first like half of Nomad, if you just listen to the first time, you're just kind of like, eh. And then it gets to that like chorus, you know. Nomad, you're the runner of the day. Sad. And you're like, oh, f this song's sick. Like, all of a sudden, like, everything just makes sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? The Man of Sorrow. I don't know. Yeah, it's okay. I'm gonna put in B. The Man Who Would Be King. What are we thinking here, boys? The Man Who Would Be King. I think B's good. 
the mercenary. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Show them no fear. S. S. Okay. Now we're at the number of the beast, which I thought was double S tier. You guys thought of your ranking? Sounds a lot like Manila Road song on the courts of chaos. Manila. <sighs> Manila Road, insanely slept on band. Insanely slept on. Remember the Beast is far too overplayed. Nothing in comparison to the Great Unknown. I do respect your opinion, bro. And you know what? I kind of agree. But I have to put an S, bro. Come on. Like, you have to, like, you know. The Parchment. Over yeah, dude, it's overplayed but iconic. I agree. I agree. I'm going to put the Parchment in B. I think it's pretty good. Nothing offensive. The Pilgrim. Off of Matter of Life and Death. You know, like, again... Hmm. I think it's an A song. I think I'm gonna put A. Pilgrim is goaded. God bless. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the Pilgrim in A, though. It's pretty good. The Prisoner. I'm not a prisoner. I'm a free man. Kind of funny how that's longer than Children of the Damned. Children of the Damned seems like it's a way longer song. Where'd that go? Yeah, I think it's pretty good, though. I'm gonna put it in A tier. Yeah, I feel like the the Trooper is probably the only song that ever gets played on, like, classic radio anymore. I, I think you're right. The Prophecy, yeah, triple S. Triple S, just for that, like, ending acoustic outro. God damn, is that ever good. The Red and the Black, I'll be completely honest with you guys, I have no recollection of this song. It must be off the Book of Souls. Okay, where, where are we putting Red and Black? Double S, you think? Dude, why did I, I do? I do not remember the song at all. That's crazy. Triple S, one of the better songs. The album where the black is double S. Okay, okay, I'll trust you guys. I'll trust you guys, and we'll put it here. And then before before I edit and put this on the YouTube video later, I'll go back and listen to it and make sure that it's the correct ranking. Here in my garage, just bought this uh, new Lamborghini here. <laughs> the camera should be lower than F. I think just the fact that people know how bad it is and it's like infamously bad. I think that's good. Good enough for me. The reincarnation of Benjamin Breeg. I'll be honest, don't never really vibed with this song that much. I'm gonna put it in C tier. The talisman. <laughs> the lowest rank called Purgatory. Maybe I'll just make a new tier called Angel and the Gambler tier. Dude, yeah, exactly, bro. Like they just needed to like trim down the songs in a matter of life and death. Trim them down. A little bit more succinct, a little bit more hitting. No, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, that's a great riff. Okay. I remember that song now. Yes, I'm gonna put this in A tier. Yeah, later day our maiden has that generally has that issue. I think it happens with like a lot of bands too. I think they just become so big that uh, people find it hard to say no to them. You know what I mean? Uh, the thin line between love and hate. I love this song. Triple S. What a great song, dude. No way, that dude. Go listen to it again, dude. Tell me, and it's not Triple S. Come on. The time machine. Yeah, kind of like a mid track. I'm gonna put it in B. The trooper. Come on, man. Like. Even though I've heard that song a million times, I don't really ever get used, like, tired of it. It's, 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 it's the silence in the verses. Something that Iron Maiden hardly ever uses is, like, the silence or just the singing. And it works so well in the Trooper. I can't believe they don't do it more. You know what I mean? Yeah, Triple S, for sure. The Unbeliever! Another kind of mid-song, honestly, in my opinion. I'm gonna put it in C. Am I the only one who thinks that the better Maiden songs have more than Steve writing? I don't think you're the only one. Because Steve Harris, you know, obviously writes great music. Like, there's no no shade at all going to be thrown at him. But at a certain point, you know, it kind of seems like kind of just falls back to the same ideas. You know, man, I feel like when I get to the song, I'm just like so tired of how long this album is that I'm just like sort of tired of it. But just for you, buddy, I'm going to bump it up to A. Just for you. It's The Wicker Man, S tier. Great song. I would agree. I, I do think Iron Maiden is one of the most consistent bands as well. Yeah, de definitely. Just because you have a whole bunch of mid songs, like again, like a B and an A tier song are still like great songs. You know what I mean? Like I'd be very pleased if I listened to like a new band and they, you know, and if it was like, if you put it on like the Iron Maiden scale it was an A or B tier song, you know what I mean? I'd be very pleased and very happy with them, right? It's just that when you have, in comparison, you know, like, Ace is High, Children of the Damned, Hell would be all the name, Killers, Moonshot, you know, it, it sort of skews the results, I guess you could say. You know what I mean? Let's keep it going. We got only a few more left to do. I think we got the writing on the wall. Because the writing is on the wall. Haha. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is on Zenjutsu. Hmm. Yeah, that, I remember this was a good song. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm gonna put this in A tier. That was a good song. I enjoyed it. Okay, these colors don't run. These colors don't run off a matter of life or death. Pretty good track, honestly. Yeah, one of my uh, one of my favorites off that one. To tame a land. Am I the only one who thinks this is kind of a mid song? Tell me if I'm. Uh, tell tell me tell me if I'm I'm wrong with this being a mid song. I I don't know like. Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner has just some really catchy parts, but I feel like ta To Tame a Land just doesn't have anything nearly as catchy. What, Dude, wasn't this a song that Frank Herbert got pissed off against because a metal band made a song about his book? <laughs> you know what? We're going to put it in A tier. We're going to put it in A tier. I think I think everyone should be happy about that. To Tame or Transylvania. Yeah, come on. Double S. <laughs> But dude and the writer threaten to sue them. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, what is with like boomers and their intellectual property? I'll just never understand it. Have you ever thought of making a tier list of Black Sabbath songs? I have, but I would need to go listen to all those other Black Sabbath uh, albums. Like all the Tony Martin ones and stuff, which I have not done. Like the ones, the bands that I've done so far, like Iron Maiden, Metallica, Megadeth, and Death, I've been listening to for like a really long time, you know what I mean? And so I know most of these songs up by heart, but most of the Black Sabbath catalog, besides like off the first two albums, uh, you know, Heaven and Hell and Dehumanizer, I kind of just don't really know too well. So I, I, tr I try to stay away from that and I try to do bands that I know really well. Anyways, moving on. Wasted Years. Everybody knows that's a triple S. Come on. Easy, easy one. Wasting Love. Pretty good song. Pretty good song, but I don't think you could put it higher than a B. Metal's tier list. Dude, my favorite metal is Zinc. Zinc's pretty based. Zinc's pretty based. Helps in testosterone production. Don't ever take Zinc subs on an empty stomach. You will get though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're so close to being done here. Weekend Warrior. I think it's a D tier song, bro. Where the Wild Wind Blows. I do not remember this one. Yeah, what, not not one of my favorite longer Iron Maiden songs, honestly. I thought it was just okay. And, and one of those ones where that didn't really justify the length for me. Dude, that's what I'm saying. It, it's just hard to like know and remember all these tracks off by hand. You know what I mean? And that's why I need to like really listen to a song or to a band to like do these sort of tier lists. When two worlds collide. Hmm, isn't this another Blaze song? Yeah, kind of ass. Kind of ass. I'm going C. All right, yeah, back to the good ones. Where he goes, dare, bro. Come on, just that opening drum fill alone gives it gives a triple S. Where the river runs deep. <sighs> okay, I'm thinking of what other bands I could possibly do these lists on right now. Like maybe Architects. I've listened to a lot of Architects. Uh, Veil of Maya, maybe. Maybe Periphery. Protest the Hero. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, not bad. I thought, I thought this was okay. Not one of the worst ones. Thank you for telling me. Wildest Dreams. Yeah, pretty mid, honestly. Pretty pretty mid track. I'm on my way. I'm going to put in C. I sort of talk a lot about more, like, uh, like I, you know, I'm not going to mean this in like a derivative or a derogatory way, but like boomer metal, because that's what gets the most clicks, right? Otherwise, you know, I would love to talk about Protest the Hero, you know, the human abstract all the time, but, you know, like, Death is going to get uh, clicks, Iron Maiden is going to get clicks, Megadeth, you know, Metallica is all going to get clicks, like, you know, see, it's kind of like a weird sort of balancing act you got to play. Halloween, it's like, I know their first few albums, but they have a lot of uh, other stuff that I'd have to listen to to get through. And I think I, don't, I think I almost like Gamma Ray, like Gamma Ray stuff better, to be honest. Okay, last song, Wrathchild. I'm a Wrathchild! Yeah, triple S for Wrathchild. Triple S for sure. And okay, all right. There is the tier list, boys. Every single Iron Maiden song ranked. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, thanks for tuning in, boys.